What's going on? Tectonic Edge here playing some more Mono Green Tron. So let's jump into this. We've got one Tron land here. Uh, this is going to be a mulligan. Excuse me there. One Tron land. Um, one once upon a time. Hmm, that's the only. I can count that as two. So we're going to say um, no again. Two of the same Tron lands and less search. Eh. Doe hater. This guy is not a fan of the Simpsons. Oh, we'll go to four. And we'll keep. Pitching. One expedition map. Ooh. One... Oblivion Stone. How is this going to work? It's going to go Tower. Once upon a time, hopefully getting a Tron land. Do we get rid of our threat or our backup land to crack Expedition Map? Should something go bad? Uh, we're going to go for the win. So we'll do it like this and... Hope we hit something here. Cross our fingers. Oh, is he going to force this? Oh, that felt bad. That felt really bad. Spirits? Thinking spirits. Land. Yep, I have messed up. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, it was a gamble, I meant. No lands in the top five cards. Wow. I, I shouldn't trust once upon a time. It dicks me over every time, but I always do. And a ghost quarter, so we are not getting Tron this game. Humans. Not regular humans, though, because they don't play main board ghost quarter. No, this is not humans, so this is a blink ability, so this is probably that blink deck. I'm not 100% sure what this build is. We're going to have two draws here to get another land. Top deck. Second. Come on. Land. Any land, please. We'll take it. Glimmer of hope at the very least. We'll see if he goes quarters this turn or next turn. I doubt he's going to leave me with two Tron lands untapped. Hopefully we can just draw the mine. I question playing that into a blast zone. Three, yep. Add question attacking with Giver Rose too, but well, we 
we got uh, one more turn here to draw a land. Not truly, but this is going to make them think for a little bit, I believe. All right. Yeah, I mean, he was running out of cards. That is definitely a good move, especially with two Aether Vials. See if he ticks the that up. Yep. No, he didn't. Yep. All right, so he plays a decent number of low drops. Luckily, he's not killing me quick. Pretty sure he runs a blink strategy. But. Oh no, a tape bears. Can't search my library. Yep. Oh, I should have known by the ghost quarter. Oh. Oh, yep. Main board ghost quarter. I should have realized this sooner. It's like 4 in the morning. Granted, I need to stop using that complaint. Alright. This, in this case, I'm just going to say he has it. I can't recover from that. Definitely want the crucible. What else do we want here? Uh, let's grab the dismembers. We'll pull out one Ulamog and one long coil. All green cards all the time. We're going to mulligan that. Into a no land hand. Wow. And I think about it, this may be a mono white taxes death. Wow. Best we're going to get. Actually, this is pretty good. So, put three cards. We need to keep these three. So, we'll get rid of one sub. Um, one here. And we need to actually all four of those. So, that's how it's got to be. And we just have to hope we draw a decent threat. Turn one ghost quarter, yep. Well, or at least force it.
Yep. At least I get my land and I have my turn two move. Or turn three move. Once upon a time. Yep. Did he not play a land last turn? Stride two, gain three life. All right. I think I'm going to wipe his board state out. Well, no, that's that's effects already resolved. We'll hold off. We'll save the dismember. But we will be taking that aether vial. This was a decent recovery. All right, game three. <coughs> Excuse me. We are on the draw, so this is going to be a little more challenging. But that helps. We will keep that. Turn one ghost quarter? Ah, snow covered plains. We will go power plant, chromatic star. Field of ruin. Yep. That's a little painful. Can't actually cast this. I know we're getting filled of ruined next turn. So let's go ahead, crack for green. Ancient stirrings. Well, that, that's there. That does force him to hit one of our lands. Hopefully it's the power plant. Oh, does he not have a second land? Well, that works out pretty decently for us. I'm gonna get a Thrag Tusk, at the very least. Yep. 
He's probably hoping I don't have a decent turn uh, play here. He would have guessed wrong. Now, if he's still land short here, he's in trouble. All right, he can break up Tron. Yes, we got lucky. He, li he must like the purple. I'm not a big fan of him having Lance right now. So I'm going to try and force him to attack here. If I can get him to reveal his hand, I'm curious what he has. All right, no, he's just out. Well, we got there. So that was, this is probably mono white taxes now that I think about it. Yep, yeah. But yeah, not usually a good matchup for us because the main board ghost quarters, but we managed to fight through it somehow. Yeah, this is definitely mono white taxes, not hate bears. I don't know why I uh, pulled up hate bears. It's been a long time since I've seen a true hate bear deck. But yeah, you know, we can get there just having, you know, redundant abilities to get Tron land and then being able to resolve threats helps. Uh, Value is always annoying, but then we're, I'm running the creature variant right now, so that's always helpful to get the uh, creatures out onto the field. Uh, so hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. This is Tectonic Edge, signing out.